All right, it's been a while. Finally, the pendulum monsters and pendulum zones are on the end, so I can make these deck profiles. Um, I have some deck profiles I haven't posted up yet, but I've been busy with some other stuff, obviously. So let's get to pendulum shokan, right? Miss Valley Apex Avion because of its effect obviously it's a seven star can negate i have divine wind of miss valley and i also have shrine miss valley because they are miss valley cards as well as miss valley soldier miss valley apex avion himself they're all miss valley cards so they can all be used to bounce to the hand to activate his effect um you cannot activate his effect multiple times on a chain if i am correct so you can activate his effect once per chain. Miss Valley Soldier, just because he's a Miss Valley monster plus he's a tuner, so he allows you to synchro. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, he rotas you. Pendulum Monsters plus he's a level 7. Um, he's just really good, so obviously you, you should use him. Along with Time Gazer Magician. And Stargaze Magician combined as your little pendulum engine right there. Because uh, Stargazer being a scale 1, while Time Gazer is a scale 8, that combined on the field is a scale of 2 to 7. So you can drop your 7 star Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon from the hand or from the extra deck, as well as your Miss Valley Apex Avion. So if you're ever in the position where you use Apex Effect to bounce Shrine. Uh, for example, Shrine of Miss Valley to your hand, and then your opponent plays another card on a separate link, a separate chain. You know, you can bounce Miss Val uh, Valley Apex himself to negate that. So then you can negate two cards in a single turn and not really lose much of anything because in the next following turn, as long as you have Time Gazer and uh, Stargazer on the field, you know, you can. You can drop it, re resummon it onto the field. You can also combine um, Time Gazer and even Odd Eyes, Pendulum Dragon himself. Even those two combined can get you the Pendulum Scale to resummon the Apex a Avion. Also, if you use Stargazer and Time Gazer, you can summon, you know, Pendulum Summon, Miss Valley Soldier as well, or you can just normal summon them. So the ability to get multiple monsters on the field works. And then of course if you have the field spell, you have Apex, Avion, and you have Miss Valley Soldier or even two copies, that gives you up to like four, you know, negations. So lots of spam right there, a lot of power. And then of course the fact that pendulum monsters go into your extra deck and you can resummon them through the method of pendulum summoning. Just broken sauce all day. So that's what they're there for. You can use their pendulum effects, but I really don't. I just use for the pendulum scale. Hypno Sister, because she works with the fact that you have pendulum monsters, plus it's good against somebody who plays pendulum monsters. She's a level 4 wind monster, so you can bring her out with a divine wind of Miss Valley. If you ever um, bounce a Miss Valley soldier on your side of field to your hand for example while you have the field spell, field spell brings her out and if you have pendulums or your opponent has pendulums she'll be a 2100 you know little beat stick um, if you're if there's two or more pendulum monsters on the field if this card battles a pendulum summoned monster a monster that's summoned by pendulum summoning it can it can contest or it can destroy it before damage step and then of course it has a other effects if you have th if there's three or more pendulum monsters on the field all monsters your opponent controls must attack this card if able and then the fourth one is if this card destroys the monster by battle or by its own effect draw one card that's when it, you have f when there's four or more pendulum monsters in the pendulum zones combined which means two pendulum monsters in your side two pendulum monsters in your opponent's side in the pendulum zones so if all the pendulum zones are, are are full, you get all of those effects combined, which is really good. Plus she's a four star non tuner, which goes with the four star tuner. And then of course you can exceed with two four stars, obviously, but you'll synchro mostly. 
get that starters on the field, getting it on the deck. Uh, Shrine of Misfile is just, it's just so you can use it for Apex Avion's effect. You, you don't really use it, the field card's own effect. It's just there as a substitute for Divine Wind of Miss Valley. But I also played Divine, Wisdom, Divine Wind of Miss Valley, so it's like having four um, Divine Wind of Miss Valleys. So you can bounce it for Miss Valley Apex effect. Supply unit, you know, just because you can. It's useful, especially with the Pendulum Monsters. Your Pendulum Summon, they get destroyed, not a big deal, you just draw a card. Beto, MST, Regaki Break, Red Screen, the Staples, you know what to do with them. Call the Haunted, because in case your XYZ summon or Apex goes to the graveyard or whatnot. Uh, not every monster here is a, you know, Pendulum is only nine of them. I mean, yeah, nine of them. Only nine of the monsters are Pendulum monsters. The other nine are not. So Call the Haunted is useful to bring back whatever you need. And of course, the Vine Wind of Miss Valley. One of Zen Mains, in case you need them. My Stroke, in case you need to defend or get or uh, put something face down that has pretty high attack or low defense. Corn helps you get rid of monsters that can't be destroyed by battle or card effects, but mainly by battle. Um, number 101. Helps you st steal your opponent's monsters, obviously, it's because he's broken. Evil Sworn X is Haunted Knight, because he's broken. He's the rank 4 Black Rose. Tyrus, Keeper of Genesis, because he has a good effect. Virtually untouchable, and he pops cards, so he's good. Aegis, Keeper of Armageddon, helps you get rid of whatever you need to get rid of, whether it be a monster or a face-up spell or trap. Number 11, Big Eye, so you can steal shit. Because you have a lot of level 7s in this deck. Mecha Fan of Beast Draco Set because he has a good effect. And you have a lot of level 7s in the deck that you can use to make them. You got Black Rose. Crimson Blader. In case you need that effect. Especially if you want to stop your opponent from summoning their own Odd Eyes Dragon or summoning big Pendulum Monsters. So it's good against a, a deck that also Pendulum Summons. You can slow it down. By killing a weaker monster, Stardust, so you can protect your back row and your pendulum zones and all your other good stuff. Colossal Fighter, because he's really good. Giga Gang Castle, because you, you, can, you can make him. And Star Eater, because you can make him. The 7 stars in the deck with the 4 star tuna makes 11, so Star Eater, because he's good. And that's the end of the deck profile.